Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. Today I'm going to show you how to change the font in the TTY and how to make it permanent. So let's get to it. So, right now I'm in logged into a live Arch Linux ISO from July 1st. So, normally when I do my installations on video, my Arch installations, that is, regardless of whether I'm doing a video on installing Arch Linux with their relatively new automated installer, or I'm showing how to install Arch Linux the manual way by typing in all the commands. When I'm on this screen, I always type in this command, set font tier dash 132 N. and I hit enter and look at that let's just clear the screen and it changes the font and I do all my Arch Linux installations in two stages sometimes it's two videos sometimes I do it on the same video and I make a longer video but there's always two stages to it and that's regardless of whether I'm using the automated Arch installer or installing Arch Linux the manual way by typing in all the commands and the two stages are I install a base Arch Linux and then I log off the ISO, I disconnect the live ISO and then I log into my system as root and then I start my post installation where I make a username for myself, I give myself a password, I give myself sudo privileges, then I download my mensh directory from my GitLab repository and I download and install all my favorite apps and all my favorite configurations and I configure it the way I like it. So during the first half of my Arch installation we have large print like this nice large font but then when I log out of the ISO and I reboot into my own installation as root to begin my post installation I always well I always have small font because I didn't know how to change the font and when I tried I would get an error message and I was wondering why if I type in the same command after my installation why would I get an error message and even after my installation is finished and even on my main production machine when I logged into the TTY, I thought, let's change the font. And I would type in this command and I get an error message, and I never knew why. But now I know why. And this is why. So when I'm logged into this ISO, which I am right now, Vim works. So I could type in Vim, Etsy, Pac-Man, Conf. And I'm going to get into this Pac Man configuration file. Now let's just get out and let's clear the screen. Vim works. So when I'm doing my base installation, regardless of whether I'm doing it the manual way or the automated installer way, I always install Vim because if I don't, when I log off the live ISO and I log into my brand new installation, Vim won't be there because Vim won't get installed. Even though Vim is on the live ISO and you're able to use it, if you don't install it, once you log into your system, there'll be no Vim there. So then I realized the same thing is happening with the Terminus fonts. So when I'm logged in, onto the live ISO, I have access to the terminus fonts. And that's why this command will make the font larger. But I never install the terminus font onto my installation. So after my base installation, when I log into my installation as root, and I type in this command, it doesn't work. And then after I do all my post installation configurations, even then, if I drop down to a TTY and type in this command, it doesn't work. Why? 
because the terminus font is on the live ISO, but I never install it. So all I have to do is install it, and it works. So let's take a look at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into an Arch Linux virtual machine that I made quite a while ago, and it has all my post configuration set up. So let's click it on. Let's click on start. And let's make it full screen. And I have disabled LightDM, the login manager, because I'm just going to log in through the TTY using Stardex. So, of course, you can't see it because it's small, but I'm going to fix that. So, let's put in my username, my password. So, let's type in a command and see the error message we're getting. Set font here dash 132 n and that's the error message I would get on the second part of my installation after the base installation was finished and I logged off the ISO and I logged in to my base installation install this is the error message I was getting and after I finished all my post installations and I would be using my system if I dropped down to a TTY and tried to type in the command that was the error message I was getting and the reason why is because I have to install the terminus font. So what I'm going to do is let's just go into my system. So now I'm in the awesome window manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the terminal. And of course I use Xterm. I'm going to make it just a little bit larger. So if you want to see the fonts that are already installed in your system, you're going to do this. CD. USR share K okay. console fonts just like that. So now I'm going to clear the screen and just so we can see where we are, I'm going to do PWD. So that's where we are. We're in user share kbd console fonts now let's list it let's do ll and those are all the fonts now this is a really long list you know you can scan up there but there's a better way to look at it so let's clear the screen and let's look at it this way ll space pipe it space less now we can scan down with our Vim key or with the arrow key. You can scan down and you can scan up. Now let's say we want to do a search for a font. You could do slash, let's do tier dash 132. Let's see if it's there. And it's not found because it's not installed. Now to get out of there, we're going to press the Q key to get out. Let's CD and let's clear the screen. I'm going to install the terminus font. So I'm going to do sudo pacman s terminus dash font. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to put my password in. And I'm going to installing the terminus fonts. And now it's done. So now that we've installed the terminus fonts, let's go back into that folder and see if they're there. So we're going to do CD, USR, share, K, KBD slash console fonts. So again, there's the path, user share KBD console fonts. And I'm gonna clear the screen and we're gonna look at it through less. So I'm gonna do LL space pipe less. And like I said, you can use 
the Vim key or your arrow keys to go up and down, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a search. Let's do a search for a tier. And there they are. There's all the tier fonts. Now the terminus, it's tier dash. And there it is right there. You can see it right here. This is the font that I want to use. Tier 132B. And of course, to get out of there. Now let's do um, a quit. Let's type in that last command again. Let's do a search for tier 132. And there it is right there see takes me to it so let's get out of there Q to quit let's see the out of there let's clear the screen so of course you can pick any font that you want and you can use that font temporarily or permanently terminal I'm going to drop down to a TTY and if you are doing this on bare metal, you do control alt and hit the F2, F3, F4, F5, F6 while you're holding down the control alt. But I'm in a virtual machine, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm using vert manager. So I'm going to click on the keyboard here and I'm going to click on let's do control alt 4. So we're in control alt 4. I'm going to put my name in there I'm going to put my password and sorry you can't see this so now I'm going to type in the command that font here dash 132 n voila now it works and I discovered something else if I type in this command but instead of putting an n I put a b b for bold look at this uh, isn't that nice? I like that. Now, if, let's say I go to another TTY. Let's go to TTY3. It's small font. Look at that, it's small font. But if I go back to TTY4, it's large font. Now let's say I want to go back to the default standard font. I could just type in set font. And now I'm back to the standard font. And let's go back to this font. It's nicer. Let's clear the screen. Look at this. Now, let's say I want to make this permanent. I want to make this permanent so it's for all the TTYs. And after I shut down my computer and restart or reboot my computer, I always want this font to be automatic. It's easy to do. So we're going to do uh, CD at C. And we're going to LS it. So if you see this file here, vconsole.conf, we're going to vim into it and make a change in it. And if you don't have that file, you're going to have to make one. So let's vim into it. And you have to vim into it with sudo. So, or change into root, but let's just use sudo. So I'm going to type in sudo vim v, and you know what? Let's just clear the screen and clear it this way. So I'm going to type in this command sudo vim v console dot conf, just like that. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to ignore these other lines. And I'm going to leave a space. And you don't have to leave a space, but I like to do it that way. And I'm going to type in, I'm going to put my caps on. And I'm going to type in font in capital letters. And I'm going to take the caps off. And I'm going to type in equals tier dash 132. And I'm going to put the B in for bold. And I'm just going to scan down to another line. And I'm going to save it. Let's save it. And if I did it right, when I reboot, it should automatically go into the TTY in the large font. And all my TTYs should be large font.
So let's reboot and see if it works. Reboot. And I'm just going to keep this thing rolling while I'm booting because it doesn't take long to boot into Arch Linux. And we're almost there. And there we are. We boot it directly into the TTY and it's large font. So I'm going to put my name in, Mitch, put my password in, and there we are. Now let's do NeoFetch. NeoFetch. And there it is. I'm in the TTY and we're looking at NeoFetch and it's nice and clear and easy to read. And you can see I'm only using 129 megabytes of RAM. Isn't that amazing? I gave this virtual machine 4 gigs of RAM, and I'm only using 129 megabytes of RAM. And look how beautiful that is, and look how nice it is to read. Now, let's see if my other TTYs have the large font. So, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to click on... Now, if you were in... Bare metal, you're going to do Control Alt and let's say F3 or F4. But I'm going to use because this is a virtual machine and it's Vert Manager. Let's go to TTY6. And now we're in TTY6 and it's large font. Let's go to TTY5. Now we're in TTY5 and it's large font. So let's go back to uh, TTY1 and let's go into my system. Start X. And now I'm in the awesome window manager. And let's drop down to a TTY. Let's just pick anyone. Let's do TTY2. There's TTY2. Large font. Type in my name. My password and there we are so let's go back to the awesome window manager which is tty1 and that's how you change the font in the tty and make it permanent in this video i explained why when i'm doing my arch linux installations the base install is in the tty with large font and the post installation is also in the TTY but with small font and I showed how to fix it and I showed how to temporarily change the font in the TTY and how to permanently change the font in the TTY so now it looks like I'm gonna to have to do another arch installation video so I can show how I do my post installation in the TTY with large font so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching I am the Linux Mitch